Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Gene Curl and this is a series I'm doing where I'm reading my uh, journal that I kept while I was a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And uh, this is uh, quite a while into the series. So if you want to get the whole experience of what my mission was like, start off with episode one. Uh, as always, I'm just going to start off reading where I left off in the last episode. Tuesday, the 13th of April, 2004. Clear, hot, light wind. Elder P, the district leader, decided to play a game where two people carried one person across the gym. Then we had a training by Elder P. After the training, we had scripture trivia, which turned into history trivia. On the way back to the pad for lunch, we stopped at a gas station to vacuum the truck out. And I ate lunch, and at lunch I washed the truck. I received the extension to my driver's license, so they are now valid until I get home. After lunch, we tried to TA people on the street and only taught one girl, but she did not want to learn more. We had dinner with the K family, and I ate five hot dogs and a lot of other food. I shared the dinner message. We were supposed to teach Chelsea, but she did not show up. We waited for her until the, our next appointment and then left. We taught John, or actually we read the Book of Mormon with him, and set up an appointment to teach him. We last went to see the C family to find out about Jared, and when we got home after Sister A called and had us come and pick up some food from her. I worked on the area book tonight when we came home again. Wednesday the 14th of April 2004. Mostly clear, hot, light wind, heavy rain in the evening time. This morning, I checked all the floods in the truck before we went to the tabernacle for interviews. I showed everyone the pictures of Brother E's dog drinking out of the water fountain. When I was in the interview with President, he told me that he likes my part, likes my part in my hair. Likes my part in my hair? Okay, I guess. I told President about the night in Kailua where I saw someone standing by my bed and he told me that I am not crazy. We can sometimes see spirits. When we came back to the pad, Elder S. did not feel good, so I told him to rest and he laid down on his bed. I finished reading The Miracle of Forgiveness by Spencer W. Kimball today and the thought came to me that if I had read the book before I knew anything about the church, it likely would have been enough to make me want to join because it answers the question, what must a man do to be forgiven and saved in the kingdom of God? That's odd because I definitely have a different opinion of that book now. I think that book is one of the most, uh, I don't know, it's one of the worst books written. It's so judgmental. Uh, Spencer W. Campbell doesn't understand what a miracle is or what it is to be forgiven. Uh, he said it's a miracle of forgiveness, uh, but basically it's that it has to be earned, and that's not a miracle, and that's not forgiveness. Forgiveness is when you don't deserve it, when you didn't earn it. Anyhow... We left the pad around 13.30. We followed up on a few people and then tried to visit people on the finding efforts. One man tried to bash and tell us that we that what we believe, so I told him that he is a little confused about what we believe, and I gave him the Articles of Faith card, and he tore it up. I wanted to tell him that at the judgment bar he will know what that what I said is true, but instead I told him that if he ever wants to know the truth to give us a call, I bore my testimony and we left. When we went to the B family for dinner, they gave 
uh, it to go. So we ate it at the pad and then went to the chapel to wait for Melissa and her mom and her non-member boyfriend. We went to the chapel to wait for Melissa and her non-member boyfriend, Rodney. Rodney was raised in a born-again home and has fairly good knowledge of the scriptures. Part of the time, he was being sarcastic because Elder S. asked if he understood about the Twelve Apostles, so he said, No, please explain it to me. Rodney asked a lot of deep questions that I answered, and I answered most of them for him. Right now, he does not believe what we taught him, but he said that he would de most definitely pray and ask if it is true, even before he reads it. One of his concerns is that we baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, when Acts 2.38 only tells us we must be baptized in the name of Christ. Next time we meet him, I'll have him read Matthew 28, 18-19, where Christ tells them to be baptized in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We, When we got home, Elder S. told me that he was upset because both Rodney's questions and my answers were over his head. He asked me to keep it on his level, and I told him that it is not always possible. Uh, my mission companion from Cambodia, Elder S., he didn't, uh, he didn't really understand the Bible that much, nor did, was he that great with English. So, our, so when we were talking to this guy, Rodney, his theological questions and my answers to his questions were way over Elder S.'s head, and so he got upset. During the discussion, Elder S. bore his testimony with a little too much excitement, which made it sound like he was mad and upset, and that Rodney challenged Joseph Smith being a prophet. At the pad, I told him to watch his excitement level when teaching and testifying, and I think it upset him, but then again, everything upsets him. I spent the rest of the night looking up scriptures until bedtime. Thursday, the 15th of April, 2004. This morning was clear and hot, but it rained hard late in the day. Windy. We waited at the park with Sister A for an investigator until almost 11.30 and then decided that she was not coming. While we waited, Sister A wanted us to read the Book of Mormon with her, so we did. We tried to see a couple of old investigators just before 1300 and then met elders P and C at McDonald's so that I could get the Articles of Faith and Marvelous Works and Wonder from them. They could not stay, so Elder S and I ate our lunch at the pad. After lunch, we went street contacting, and while we were walking down the street, Sister C and her companion from Christmas Island, I can't remember her name, drove by and honked at us. A few minutes later, we heard them call us, and when we turned around, they were walking fast, trying to catch us. They came in our area to visit that lady who had a mental breakdown, and I talked, and I talked to her on the phone last night. She had a mental breakdown her third year at BYU. When she called, she asked for Elder R's phone number, and after she called him, he called the sisters. About 20 minutes later, on our way back to our truck, I put a pass along card on the sister's windshield. We were not able to meet too many people on the street today. We tried to catch a few more old investigators without much success. We tracked it in the rain for an hour and taught one lady named Jereen. I don't know how interested she is, but we have a return appointment with her. We met Brother C at the church, and he took us to a Korean restaurant for dinner. After dinner, he wanted to take us to an ice cream place, but when I found out that it was out of the zone, I asked to stay in the zone. Elder S. and I tried to visit the C. family, but they were not home. Just as we got to the garage, it started to rain heavily. Elder S. did not want to get wet, so I ran in the rain to get him an umbrella. When I got back, he still did not want to go, so I told him that I would bring the truck around for him. So I ran to the truck. Just as I started the truck, it quit raining, so Elder S. ran to the truck. We then went to see Brother R. I brought my umbrella, so just in case it rained again. Brother R. was not home. We talked to his children. On the way to the car, it started raining, so I gave Elder S. my umbrella because 
he was sick and also he he was still dry and I was already wet. When we came back to the pad, we decided to play in the morning and just talked until bedtime. I let Elder S do most of the talking. He told me about how difficult it is in Cambodia. He also talked about his mission. He told me that Elder B was his favorite companion and I am his second favorite companion. It is funny that both companions he liked best are from Idaho. While we were tracking today, one man was making wise cracks about Jesus Christ and some of the stuff he said was so blasphemous that I am not sure if he will ever get another chance. I would really hate to be in his shoes at the judgment seat. Friday the 16th of April 2004. Partly clear with periodic heavy or light rain. Hard wind. It is clear and calm for a few minutes and then there is a heavy, heavy wind driven rain the next. We visited a member who just got out of the hospital for childbirth and then the rest of the morning we visited people on Old Finding Efforts paper. A few of them were very nice and a few very, very rude. We had lunch at the pad. I received a letter from Brother B today which had $20 enclosed. After lunch, we tried to see a few members and then old investigators. We tried to talk to the people on the street and the only thing that I succeeded in doing is getting a sunburn. We tracked it for an hour but was not able to teach anyone. We picked up sister... We picked up... Dinner from we picked up dinner from sister p before uh we went tracting but did not eat it until 20 hundred we visited a few inactive families and single names we stopped by the bishop's house to find out more info on the trip to the north shore tomorrow next door i happened to see sister m from the Kapolei ward, so I talked with her for a few minutes before he came home for dinner. I have always known it, it just recently sank in that when people turn us away, persecute us, hate us, it is not really us they despise, but the Savior. I really, re I really realized this yesterday when that blasphemous man was trying to denigrate the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Saturday, the 17th of April, 2004. Partly cloudy, light rain, windy, hot. I love Elder S, and he is a great missionary. He is one of the few companions that I have had that, that came on a mission for the right reasons. I have a lot of respect for him. I guess the only problem we have is that often we do not understand each other, and also he gets offended very easily. I try my best to not offend him, and even pray for help not to, and sometimes it still happens. Today, when we taught John, Elder S. thought the Holy Ghost taught the Holy Ghost principle in such a way that it came across as we as we are always sad and depressed, and the Holy Ghost is like a fix that makes us happy for an hour or so, and then we have to look for another fix. But when we are given the gift of the Holy Ghost, that we are never sad. I thought long and hard about it, and whether or not it was worth mentioning, and even prayed about it. Once I decided that it was expedient that I mention it to him, but I was not sure how to do it without offending him. I hate to offend or hurt people's feelings or make them upset, and Elder S. upset so easily, so I prayed long and hard about that I would be able to tell him in a way where he knows that I was only trying to help him. When I told him, he did not quite understand in the way that I wanted him to, and he got upset and thought I was being mean and picking on him. After about 30 minutes, I got it got cleared up, and he agreed to work on it. I also apologized profusely for offending him and let him know that I love and appreciate him. Well, on with the happenings of the day. Last night, we did not think that we would have any investigators going to the testaments. Elder S. really wanted to go go so we stopped by John's house to see if he could still go but he was asleep when we got to the church Chelsea was there so we were able to go to the testaments today 
the today was the ward's baptism for the dead temple trip and all those who were are either young too young to go or to the temple or have no recommend were going to watch the tacostomus the ward rented a bus for the day and most of the ward and elder s and i rode the bus on the way to the north shore there was an accident so we arrived considerably later than we had planned those going to the temple could not have breakfast with the rest of us after we ate we went to the visitor center and then we watched the testaments on the way back to the bus i kind of hoped that it would run into kilo i will uh, i hope that i would run into kihaloa but prayed in my heart that i would not she is the reason that i asked president willis to transfer me out of wainai over a year ago and now she works with the Polynesian Cultural Center and attends BYU Hawaii. We bust back to the temple ground and then we ha all had lunch. Chelsea told us that the last time she visited her mother in the prison she asked her if she could be baptized and her mother said that she would think about it because she would rather her join any other church than the Mormon church. We got back to our area around 1400 we had an appointment with a young man named Kevin. Where I parked, the street was narrow, so I tried to park as far off the street as I could, and in the process, parked a little too close to a utility pole and put a brown streak on the bed of the truck. Kevin told us that, he, that we could stop by and ask his parents, but they do not really want us talking to him, and they don't want us to read the Book of Mormon. When we left Kevin's, we went back to the pad, and I managed to get all of the scratches off the paint on the truck. Even though there is no longer any evidence that I scraped the pole, I called and left a message for Elder B. Elder S. told me that I am too honest for my own good, and he tried to convince me that I should let it go since there is no damage, but I would not feel right about it. We taught John the second discussion. He said yes to baptism, but would not commit to come to church, so I did not try to set a date. His parents are cool with any church that he wants to join. Besides, he is 22 years old. Marshallese people always let their family go to whatever church they will. We tried to see Travis, but he was not home. We talked to his mother, and I think that she is cool with us teaching him. I also think that I have got her talked into letting us do a service project for her. Elder S. wanted to do the service project on P-Day, but because he is not willing to not take lunch until we teach someone, I was not willing to sacrifice the preparation day. Besides, I have already planned with the other missionaries to go to the zoo on preparation day. We ended the night with the Book of Mormon read with Jared. He is really solid and knows that the church is true, but is unwilling to think that he is unable to change one aspect of his life but he has not shared with us what is, is holding him back. We came back at 2000 for dinner, but neither of us ate because we spent so long talking about our problem that I mentioned earlier. Sunday the 9th of April 2004. Mostly cloudy, heavy rain after dark, windy and warm. I reported in PEC this morning. Rodney came to church again today. During priesthood, I wrote a letter to enclose with for the strength of youth pamphlet to send to Chelsea's mother that perhaps it might change her mind so she will let Chelsea be baptized. Everyone that I had look at the matter improved, including the bishop. On request of Elder S., I wrote the letter again so that I could uh, so that I could pluralize it and add his name. Sister G. gave an, ex an excellent talk on choices in the sacrament after lunch after church we went to the pad for lunch and personal study i forgot to mention but during pec i was asked to give the missionary moment and sacrament meeting brother brother r told me to make sure that i only take two minutes because before i got there elder s was given two minutes and took 15 minutes i guess he thought that he was a sacrament speaker when I gave the missionary moment, I gave it a short and sweet and took about half the time that I was giving. We visited a few old investigators while walk 
walking up uh, a walkway from a house, a little boy about six or seven years old looked up at me and said, you look kind of scary. I have no idea why he thinks I look scary, but when I asked him why, he just said the same thing again. We had dinner with the K family. I talked to one of the daughter's non-member boyfriends about his Nitro RC car for a little while. After dinner, they started family home meeting. After Elder S. shared the message, I tried to leave, but Brother R. told us that we could not because the prayer had not been said yet. After the closing prayer, they said we could not leave until after ice cream. We stayed almost two hours, even though I tried hard to leave at one. The rest of the night, we had a hard time finding people to visit. We went home at 2100 for Elder S.'s English study. Monday, the 19th of April, 2004. Clear, hot, light wind. On the way to Zone Conference at the uh, Kalihi Chapel this morning, I think that I gave Elder S. a scare because I accidentally turned the wrong way on a one way. The bulk of Zone Conference today was about planning, and it was all very inspiring. We got a lot of new things for our area book, and also new planners to replace the blue planners. In the near future, we will be getting a new missionary guide, which I am really excited for. Elder S. is a little doubtful about the new planners, but I think that they are great. After conference, Sister Willis gave uh, all, us all uh, Kilui, Nick, uh, Kilikui nut lays, and we all took his own picture. When President mentioned that a lot of the pads need repaired, I asked if it would be okay to get the landlords to get the supplies and it fix our pad. President said that it would be great and said that since I have a construction experience, they might use me to fix a lot of the other pads. When we got home, I called Elder B about the utility pole incident I had on Saturday and he told me not to worry about it since there was no damages. I talked to Sister... Elle's uh, mother about my fine fixing the pad and she thought that it would be a great idea and I was very excited to hear that I would be willing to do the repair. We picked up a sort of flaky new investigator and a return appointment for someone that we were not able to teach. We picked up some money for dinner from the B family and then ate dinner at the pad because Sister Elle's mother gave us some soup. We spent most of the rest of the night trying to see part member families. One house we stopped at was a big, there was a big dog on a chain in the shadows that we, I could not see. And as I started to walk up, Elder S. told me that the dog was there. I jumped back and, he, and the dog almost bit me. Thursday the 20th of April 2004. Partly cloudy, it rained hard a couple of times. I wrote letters to Jim to the B family, to mom, to Heidi. Elder S claims, Elder S cleans, but he has a lot, but I clean a lot more than he does. At around 11.30, we went to the Kahala Mall so that we could find an English grammar book for Elder S. I bought a couple of Mormon Tabernacle CDs. We then went to Safeway to buy food, etc. The zone was going to play volleyball at 15.30, and I wanted to go, but we finished shopping late, and I had stuff to do. Also, we had our first appointment scheduled for 17.30. We met Rodney, Melissa, and Melissa's sister and brother-in-law at the church and taught Rodney the second discussion. I had Elder S. start so that he would be the one to commit Rodney for baptism, and also he does not teach the Holy Ghost principle. The discussion went well, and I was able to resolve his concerns about wandering, about the wording of the baptism by showing him Matthew twenty-eight nineteen. He said yes to baptism, and I set a date for baptism for the 1st of May. When he said yes to the baptism, Melissa asked him if he needed to think about it. So he said, what is there to think about? I told Rodney that the Lord is pleased with his decision. We went to see Jocelyn, a lady that we met tracting on Monday. She seemed to be really interested and agreed to read the Book of Mormon and pray about it. We set up an appointment to follow up and teach her the second discussion. 
we got to dinner late, but it was okay since we let her know last night that we would be late. We had dinner with the our family. After dinner, we went to meet Brandon, a less active member, but he dogged us. We came home at 20.30 for night plan and Elder S's English study. Wednesday the 21st of April 2004, clear hot light wind. We had week plan until lunchtime and had lunch. I wrote my president's letter after lunch. We tried to see a few members. We visited some old investigators and taught them one of the first discussions. His name is Clyde. He is an active Catholic and likes to talk to us, but does not really want to know if the church is true or not. When we went to see Kevin, he gave us the Book of Mormon bag and said that his parents would not let him read it and told him to return it. We were supposed to teach during but she had to cancel because she went to uh, went to the hospital. We had dinner with Sister C and her non-member husband. They are pretty a pretty young couple, and she is active. I shared the dinner message and invited them to let us show them the how we were possession at at a later date. She has had all the dis he has had all the discussions before, but said that he is not ready to be baptized. After dinner, we visited Sister A and tried to get Sister K to go on a team-up on Friday. When we woke up this morning, I had a very sore throat but felt like, uh, and felt like I had a cold. It got worse during the day, but it did not slow me down. We also tracked it today and ate at one, and at one house, Elder S. was afraid that a Great Dane dog would jump up the fence and eat him. I finally convinced him that it would not, and we walked past the fence to get to the house. Well, that will be it for this episode. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to uh, comment down below, and I will do my best to get to your questions. With that said, I will catch you in the next episode.